Okay, I'm uh, Rob Somerdijk. I'm from Alkmaar, from uh, Moosletel Brewery. Um, yeah, so what we've been doing for the past five years, I suppose, is uh, a lot of stouts mainly, uh, but also IPAs and sour ales. Um, I think last year mostly we've been trying to hit the IPAs in the, the New England IPAs um, and trying to perfect that. And I think we've come a long way since the beginning of this year, especially uh, with some new brewers with a lot of uh, knowledge and experience in IPAs and just overall brewing. Uh, and of course, we've been uh, well experimenting a lot with uh, with stouts uh, as well, with pastry stouts and adjuncts and new malts because we use a different kind of brewing system now, which allows us to um, to use more malts and different malts uh, and also different grains such as rye and spelt easily and uh, kind of more versatile over the whole brewing process. Um, I think over the last, since Corona time, I think we've uh, almost doubled in size. So Corona has done us good <laughs> instead of uh, instead of bad, actually. Um, yeah, and so we are planning to um, expand next year again and also try to kind of double it again. Uh, so it's been very good to us, actually. Um, yeah. And how? Uh, what's your production now per year? Uh, production per year is now at around. 4,500 hectoliters a year and next year we want to hit um, I think about 7,000 hectoliters a year uh, yeah what what's your percentage do you export and what's your uh, exports now at around 30 percent and uh, mainland or uh, the like the Netherlands itself is about 70 uh, and we just hit the retail market so that's Albert Heijn and Jumbo uh, plus and co-op so that's uh, supermarkets in the Netherlands um, and that's where we launched our core range this year so there's a stout a New England IPA uh, kind of a pastry stout and a pastry barley wine um, and those are received pretty well I think uh, yeah that's so, incredible yeah. Yeah, the, the market in the Netherlands is really evolved quite fast in terms yeah. of accepting uh, stouts <laughs> <laughs> yeah no well, I think that Dutch people drink a lot of stouts uh, so they don't mind the experiment, uh, at least a lot of per people don't, uh, so I think that's also, uh, that helps us a lot with, uh, with what we do. Yeah. Uh, what do you attribute to your strategy? A lot of people turn to cans and other things. Uh, we just kind of try to do what we like uh, and that has uh, worked, uh, worked very well for us because we, uh, well, we do what we like and so um, if we do what we like, we do it good because it's uh, something we like to do. Um, but yeah, strategy-wise, I think yeah, we now hit the, um, the supermarket with core range to get more people involved in craft beer instead of just pilsners, I suppose, like macro pilsners I'm talking about. Um, and so we're just trying to create a, a, a more broad public for our beers and then we hope to get those people into the bottle shops and then buy or go on an adventure to to try more things than just macro lagers and Belgian beers. For sure. How big do you want to get? Uh, the, Size matter I guess? Yeah it's difficult it depends on how the market grows of course I don't want to grow just to grow I just want to I, I do want to grow with beers that I like personally so I don't want to uh, um, I don't know um, what size it will be in the future, but uh, well, depending on if our strategy works, uh, we can get very big or stay about the same. But uh, I think our 10-year goal was to do uh, 40,000 hectoliters in a, a year, so well, that can change. And what's it like working with brothers? I guess one always wonders if there's yeah. infighting and family and uh, um, you know, it's just... I think we're amazing. very uh, upfront about things, so that helps us to discuss things pretty quickly and easily without having to mind what you're, like mind your tongue or something. Uh, so that's a, a pro, I think. Um, so yeah, for, for us it works well. It can definitely go bad, I think. Uh, and it's something to watch out for if it really goes south to just either stop it or do something about it. Yeah. Thank you for talking. The Thanks. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.